this look alright? Do I look like a hoodlum? I don't know why you put on your head. My ears are cold. Oh. oh, hey guys. So, video number six. <laughs> so I'm out here trying to make video number six and I told you guys that I was going to talk about my name. The family history behind my name is kind of pretty deep. So I'm gonna take you back to uh, my grandfather. My grandfather was one of the first Nepali immigrants to come to the United States. So Nepal, tiny little country over in Asia, north side of India, and it's just an awesome, amazing little place. And most people have never heard of it, but they have heard of Mount Everest, which is where you climb Mount Everest, is in Nepal most of the time. But <clears throat> my grandpa came to the United States sponsored by a family from Southeast Michigan. He came there and he had told the people he was working with his name, Narakar. And the guy had actually said, nah, nah, we're gonna call you Nick. So they started calling my grandfather Nick. Now my father was born, his name is Narakar, but he goes by Nick. And then I was born. I mean, this is all a lot of time in between, but I was born and I was named Narakar. But everyone called me Nick. It wasn't until later in life I kind of realized that the reason Nick came about was simply because some American dude didn't want to call my father or my grandfather by his actual name, which is Narakar. Throughout my life, I've been able to spend a significant amount of time in Nepal, and it's helped me develop a great appreciation for my heritage and my culture. And when I found out this, this dude from America didn't want to call my grandfather by his name just because it was too hard, it really made me want to never go by Nick again. I also had an eighth grade teacher who prompted this entire thing by basically telling me, wait a minute, you go by Nick when your name's Narakar? This was the first adult in my life to ever show interest and say like, your name is so cool, why would you ever go by anything different? Since then, I've really tried to develop myself as Narakar and steer away from Nick. To a point now where I don't even really identify with the name. And trust me, it's hard to get people that's been, that have been in your lives for 10 years, 12 years, to call you something different than the name they originally got. Now, I have had vari variations of the name in several other places, but uh, I think one of my favorite stories, and if you have a complicated or weird name, you could definitely sympathize with me because it goes a little something like this. So if you have a complicated name, you can definitely sympathize with that situation. How do you pronounce my name? My name is Nurakar. I always describe it, imagine, right? Imagine being close to a vehicle. What are you? You're near a car. Well, that's kind of my name. You're nur a car So it's not near a car, it's Nurakar. Hence, Nurakar. Now, Having a cool name like this, and in the United States is kind of rare, and actually I found out that even in Nepal, in Indian countries, that there, there are kind of few Narakars there. But let me shed just a little light on the meaning of my name, because it's kind of esoteric. It's very uh, spacey, I think. It's kind of cool. So Narakar, which kind of loosely translates in Hindi to um, the chosen one of God, or uh, basically like a 
a wonderful person, <laughs> I guess is the loose translation of it. But I prefer the Nepali translation given to me by my aunt. Uh, she told me that my name, Miraka, means blissful nothingness. And not blissful nothingness as in devoid of meaning, but nothingness like you achieve in meditation. Nothingness where your, your mind is just clear and everything's at peace and everything is just as is and life just seems to be kind of serene. And that for me is a really awesome name. So in conclusion on video number six, my name does mean a lot to me. It ties me to my family, it ties me to my heritage, and it ties me to who I am. My name is Naraka. And just because it's not John or Adam, doesn't mean it's any less difficult to pronounce it. You just gotta practice it. And you know, I sympathize with people because you can't pronounce my name right off the bat, that's fine. All I like is some effort. If you like to pronounce my name, that would be awesome. So uh, I guess I will see you guys in my next video.